I'm Thomas Scotch Boxing News here with Eddie Hearn at the Fritz and Terra performance. Uh, first of all, how are you feeling? You must be pretty uh, tired after yeah, the amount good. of chatting you've been doing. It's easy coming up here because it's a long way, but you know what's on the other end of the train. Yeah. So, you know, I've got a big passion for boxing, but I've got a bigger passion for putting on events with people that actually love it and yeah. create atmospheres like Newcastle will on Saturday night. Last time blew my mind, and this time will blow everybody's mind because we know what to expect now, but it will be twice as loud as it was before. So I can't wait. It's a great card, and you're looking forward to the show. Um, obviously, with Scottish boxing, you've got John Doherty making yeah. his debut to yourself. Yeah, I mean, look, he's a. We knew all about him in the amateurs, obviously. He's, a, he's an excellent fighter. And I'm looking forward to him watching uh, watching him join the pro ranks. Looks great in the gym with Tony Sims. Um, technically very, very sound. I think he's a good puncher as well. I think he's got a bright future. Um, obviously, you've sort of seen him at the Commonwealth Games. Mm. Things, what was it that sort of drew that, that was probably what made me think that, one, we want to be involved with him, and two, he's ready to turn pro. He's got a good style for the pros. He had some big wins out there, you know, beating some guys who I thought might Hard go English, on. Uh, yeah, exactly. So, you know, I think that uh, he's got a good temperament. I think uh, technically he's very sound. And he's been working hard in the gym with Tony Sims and, and looks like uh, he could be the real deal. Yeah. Um, obviously, there was excitement, but I guess with everyone's debut, you're never sort of sure how it'll go in the pros, but I'm hoping... Yeah, I think, you know, obviously, early doors you expect these young fighters to deal with what's in front of them. But at the same time, you know, there's a lot of pressure and expectation, and people are, are moving a lot quicker than they used to. So, you know, Saturday should be quite routine for him, and then uh, make sure we get him out as quick as possible. The plan sort of for him get him out a few times before the end of the year. Yeah, definitely, definitely at, one, at least one more time before the end of the year. Hopefully, he gets through Saturday without any uh, lumps and bumps, and then move on to two, maybe three before the end of the year. Busy, busy year then for Yeah, it's, it's got to be for young fighters because they need to stay in the gym. You know, they need to take their rest as well, but you know, they need to learn. And all these guys are under pressure to move as quickly as possible now. So you know, you've got to make sure that you give them the best preparation that when they take their test, they're ready. Um, he almost made his debut on the, the AJ. The yeah, time. it was just yeah. we had a spot yeah. pop up and uh, <laughs> he couldn't get his his medicals done in time. But you know, this, this would be good for him. Um, what's your sort of thoughts on the Scottish scene as a whole, sort of over the last few years? And sort of I like mean, that, obviously, look, you you had Ricky Burns was was a brilliant servant of the sport, and he's still going. But I think his time in the arenas now, you know, he's looking for those big fights in the states and that kind of thing. I think Josh Taylor's an excellent fighter. Um, obviously hasn't got the support in Glasgow that Ricky Burns had and he's bringing people travelling from Edinburgh but obviously people in Glasgow are behind him as well he's got a tough fight actually at the World Boxing Super Series yeah. a lot of people are overlooking that fight I think that's I'm, I'm not saying it's a 50-50 but it's a lot closer than people think that fight Ryan Martin's a very good fighter he can punch as well yeah. and that could be a banana skin but hoping he gets through that and you know all these places I, I had some great nights in Glasgow you know, um, even the Terence Crawford fight with Ricky Burns, think back to that night, Ray Beltran, um, you know, the night he'd become a freeweight world champion against Michele De Rocco, beating Relic as well. You know, Relic's now a world champion, 140-pound yeah. world champion. So, you know, Ricky's been a great servant, and he's, you know, he's still fresh, he's still going. Um, is it fair to say it's sort of been a dip, do you feel, in the Scottish boxing, obviously, since Ricky's not been Yeah, I don't think there's been enough young fighters coming through who you can necessarily think have the potential to go to world level. Now, Josh Taylor is someone that can go to world level and he's on world level now. But outside of that, you know, you've got Charlie Flynn's a good young pro, but he hasn't really had, you know, he's had a lot of injuries and, and hasn't really given him the momentum. Joe Hamm as well, but you know, hopefully John Doherty's the guy who can start taking Scottish boxing by the scruff of the neck and people can follow over the next few years. Do you hope to sort of bring him back for shows and things? Yeah, we'd like to, we'd like to. I mean, um, you know, it's always important to box people locally. Um, so, you know, hopefully the scene can revive and we can take John up there. Um, with Ricky, obviously he's 50 fights in now. Did yeah. you ever think about having that one up in Scotland at all? Or was he just yeah, it just it came out, about. He wanted yeah. to get out. You know, there's a lot bubbling around with Ricky at the moment for fights and he wants the big fights, really. And, you know, he wanted to get out. And sometimes a fighter can stay in the gym and you just need to get him out and that was a case of needing to get him out so yeah. he'll box on November 17 in America which is finalising his opponent 
and uh, looking forward to seeing him back out. Is that in Vegas, that one? Uh, probably be Atlantic City. Atlantic City, yeah. is that on one of your Yeah, American cars, yeah, yeah. Um, is that be on the zone and sky in yes, human? Yes, yes. Um, I think Alex Martin, his manager, was talking about a Beltran re Yeah, it's a fight we spoke to about top rank. It won't be him. But you know that's a fight down the line. I think Beltran wants to move up to 140, and maybe we could make that fight at 137, 138. It'd be a brilliant fight. And yeah. you know Beltran was unlucky to not get the decision in the first fight. Yeah. So Ricky would be more than willing to face him again. Um, with the opponent for that Atlantic City, you want any clues? To... Still, we've got a few in the mix, so it'll be announced next week. Um, is it sort of a ticking over fight, or is it more of a no, challenge? It'd be, it'd, be a, it'd be a championship fight, you know. Uh, I think we need this one and then throw him into basically whoever wants to fight Ricky Burns after that. But important to get him out. You know, he doesn't need six and eight rounders at this level now. Yeah. He's, he's had that tick over fight and now he can go into a championship fight. So did you just say you were looking next week to sort of announce Yeah, that? next week, yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Who's, who's on the rest of that card? I don't remember. Um, we we're announcing that coming oh, up right, shortly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excited to, to yeah. get going with you? Yeah, it'd be so. good. Um, last uh, Saturday was great in Chicago. Um, you know, we're only three months in, so we've got a lot of work to do. But it's all about building the platform and the credibility to make people, you know, deal with the naysayers who will say, "Oh, the zone won't last." So that's the feedback that people are feeding into the game. But there's some major news coming next week about the platform, and you know, it's um, it's good times. So, yeah, <laughs> good stuff. Um, with Scotch Fox as well, is it sort of? An area sort of looking to develop at all? Like Always, but, but ultimately you can only be... The talent there, I guess. Yeah, by the talent you've got there. You know, and people say, oh, you've turned your back on Scottish boxes. Like, no, there just there isn't any people that can fill arenas up there. So, you know, obviously you have to focus on cities where they can, and that's why we're here. Yeah. Love to be in Glasgow. I was going to say, does this sort of lead as a blueprint, like with the Brighton? This is what we've always done. You know, we did it with Josh Warrington. We did it with Carl Frampton as well. You know, it's, we know how to build fighters in, in their local cities and you know, you'll see on Saturday night it leads to a great atmosphere. Good stuff. Um, well, listen, thank you very much for no your worries. time. Appreciate All right. it.